Good day everyone. Welcome to this presentation. I am Captain Ronnie Rani. In this video I will be explaining the solution to problems number 1 to 10 from exercise 4 in Captain Subramaniam's textbook Ship Stability 1 on the topic of displacement, dead weight, reserve buoyancy, TPC, etc. So let us start. Problem number 1. A box shaped vessel 120 meters long, 15 meters wide, has a light draft of 4 meters and a load draft of 9.8 meters in salt water. Find her displacement, load displacement and dead weight. Coming to the screen on the right hand side, this is the information given to us in the problem. Light displacement is equal to underwater volume multiplied by the relative density. Now, underwater volume is equal to length into breadth into draft into relative density and light displacement will be at the light draft that is at the draft of 4 meters in this problem. Right. Thus length is 120, breadth is 15, draft is 4, relative density is 1.25 gives us a light displacement of 7380 metric tons. Likewise load displacement will be at the load draft that is of 9.8 meters and therefore we have load displacement is equal to length 120, breadth 15, draft of 9.8, relative density of 1.025 and you have the load displacement of 18,081 metric tons. Thus the load dead weight will be the difference of load displacement and light displacement giving us an answer of 10,701 metric tons. Moving on to problem number 2. A box ship vessel dimensions are given is floating in salt water at a draft of 7.6 meters. Her light draft is 3.6 and her load draft is 8.5. Find her present displacement, dead weight on board and dead weight available. So coming to the right hand side of your screen, this is the information given to us in the problem. Present displacement is will be at the present draft that is 7.6 meters that gives us 10,906 metric tons. Light displacement will be at the light draft of 3.6 meters giving us a displacement of 5166 metric tons and load displacement will be at the load draft of 8.5 meters giving us a displacement of 12197.5 metric tons. Dead weight on board is the difference between the present displacement and the light displacement which is 10,906 minus 5,166 equal to 5,740 metric tons. Dead weight available is the difference between load displacement and the present displacement that is the difference of 12,197.5 and 10,906 giving us an answer of 1,291.5 metric tons. <clears throat> Third problem, ship is 200 meters long, 20 meters wide at the waterline. If the coefficient of fineness of the water plane is 0 0.8, find her TPC in salt water, fresh water and dock water of 1.015 RD. The information given to us in the problem is this. We know that the coefficient of water plane area is equal to CW and that by the formula is area of the water plane divided by length and breadth of the vessel. We know CW is equal to 0 0.8. Water plane area is what we have to find out and length and breadth is 200 and multiplied that by 20. Therefore, the water plane area works out to 0 0.8 multiplied by 200 multiplied by 20 equal to 3200 square meters. The formula for TPC is water plane area divided by 100 multiplied by the relative density of the water in which the ship is floating. 
Thus, TPC in salt water is equal to water plane area divided by 100 into RD. Water plane area we calculated above 3200 divided by 100 multiplied by RD of salt water 1.025 giving us TPC in salt water equal to 32.8 metric tons per centimeter. TPC in fresh water will be equal to water plane area multiplied by 100 into relative density of fresh water. When we substitute all the values, we have TPC of fresh water equal to 32 metric tons per centimeter. And TPC in dock water of RD 1.015 is 32.48 metric tons per centimeter. Problem number four. A double bottom tank dimensions are given 20 by 10.5 by 1 has a block coefficient of 0 0.82. Calculate how much fuel of RD 0 0.95 it can hold. The information from the problem is this. Block coefficient is equal to volume of the tank divided by length into breadth into height of the tank. Volume of the tank is equal to 0 0.82 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 10.5 and multiplied by 1 which gives us volume of the tank equal to 172.2 cubic meters. The weight of the oil is will be equal to volume multiplied by the relative density of the liquid inside the tank. Volume we have calculated above 172.2. Relative density given to us is 0 0.95. Thus the weight of the oil in the tank is 163.6 metric tons. Problem number five. Ship floating in salt water at a draft of 8 meters is 110 meters long, 14 meters wide at the waterline. If a block coefficient is 0 0.72, find her displacement. So from the problem, we have this information. We know the block coefficient is equal to underwater volume divided by length into breadth into the draft. Thus, the underwater volume will be equal to block coefficient multiplied by length multiplied by breadth multiplied by draft equal to 8870.4 cubic meters. And present displacement is equal to underwater volume multiplied by the relative density. When we substitute the values, we have the present displacement equal to 9092.2 metric tons. Dead weight available is the difference between the load displacement and the present displacement, which is 12,000 minus 9092.2 equal to 2,907.8 metric tons. Going on to the next problem, problem number six. A vessel of 14,000 metric tons is, this, uh, I'm sorry, a vessel of 14,000 metric tons displacement is 160 meters long and 20 meters wide at the waterline. If she is floating in salt water at a draft of 6.1 meters, find her block coefficient. So from this information that is given to us in the problem, we can work out like the solution like this. Displacement is equal to underwater volume multiplied by the relative density. Underwater volume is given is not is the unknown factor in this, which is equal to fourteen thousand divided by relative density one point zero two five, giving us an answer of. 13,658.5 cubic meters. Block coefficient is equal to underwater volume divided by length into breadth into draft. 
So when we substitute the values, we have underwater volume at 13658.5 divided by into brackets length 160, breadth 20 and draft 6.1, thus giving us a plug coefficient of 0 0.7. Problem number seven. Box ship vessel is 18 meters by five meters by two meters. Floats in salt water at a draft of 1.4 meters. Calculate her reserve buoyancy. From the problem, we have this information and we have to find total volume and underwater volume. So total volume TV is equal to length into breadth into the depth or the height that is equal to 18 into 5 into 2 equal to 180 cubic meters and underwater volume is equal to length into breadth into draft which is 18 into 5 into 1.4 giving us an underwater volume of 126 cubic meters. Therefore the above water volume AWV is equal to 180 minus 126 is equal to 54 cubic meters. <clears throat> or we can work it out on a, in another way equal to length into breadth into the freeboard which will give us the above water volume and when we substitute that we have 18 into 5 into 0 0.6 equal to 54 cubic meters and from where did we get freeboard equal to 0 0.6 it is the difference between the height 2 meters and the present draft 1.4 meters <coughs> thus the relative uh, thus the reserve buoyancy as a percentage is equal to above water volume divided by total volume multiplied by 100 when we put in all the values that we have calculated above, we have 54 divided by 180 multiplied by 100 equal to 30%. Percent. A box shaped vessel of 2000 metric tons displacement is 50 by 10 by 7. Calculate her reserve buoyancy in fresh water. This is the information that we have picked out from the problem. Total volume will be equal to length into breadth into the height equal to 3500 cubic meters. Displacement is equal to underwater volume multiplied by relative density. Thus underwater volume is equal to displacement divided by relative density equal to 2000 cubic meters. Therefore, above water volume is equal to total volume minus underwater volume, which is 3500 minus 2000 equal to 1500 cubic meters. And reserve buoyancy as a percentage is above water volume divided by total volume into 100. 1500 divided by 3500 into 100 giving us a resiliency of 42.9%. The TPC of a ship is 30. Calculate her TPC in fresh water and dock water of RD 1.018. Now the TPC, always remember one thing, whether it is mentioned or not mentioned, it is always in salt water. And from that we have to find the TPC in fresh water and dock water. In this problem it is specifically mentioned salt water. Wherever it is not mentioned, you have to assume that it is or salt water only. TPC in salt water is equal to water plane area divided by 100 into RD of salt water. 
given to us TPC salt water is 30, water plane area is not known, divide by 100 and relative density of salt water 1.025. When we put in all the values and calculate water plane area works out to 2926.83 square meters. We know the formula for TPC is equal to water plane area divided by 100 into relative density of the water in which the ship is floating. And when she is floating in fresh water, the TPC, the TPC has to be water plane area divided by 100 multiplied by relative density of fresh water, which is 1. Therefore, we have 2926.83 divided by 100 multiplied by 1. 29.3 metric tons per centimeter. Likewise, to calculate TPC of dock water, we have to multiply water plane area divided by 100 with the TPC of the dock water, which is in this problem 1.018, thus giving us an answer of 29.8 metric tons per centimeter. <coughs> Problem number 10. A ship is floating at a draft of 8.2 meters in dock water of RD 1.010. If her TPC in salt water is 40, find how much cargo she can load to bring her draft in dock water to 8.4 meters. This is the information that we have picked out from the problem. We know the formula TPC in salt water will be equal to water plane area divided by 100 into the relative density of salt water. So when we put in all the values, we have 40 is equal to water plane area divided by 100 multiplied by 1.025, thus giving us a water plane area of 3902.44 square meters. TPC in dock water is also is equal to water plane area divided by 100 into the relative density of the dock water. We know water plane area we have calculated above to be 3902.44 divided by 100 and relative density of dock water is 1.010 thus giving us TPC of dock water equal to 39.4 metric tons per centimeter. <coughs> Now she is floating at 8.2 meters in dock water and we need to know how much cargo she will be able to load to bring her to 8.4 meters in the same dock water. Thus we have a sinkage equal to 8.4 minus 8.2 equal to 0 0.2 meters and that is equal to 20 centimeters. Thus the cargo that can be loaded will be equal to the sinkage 20 multiplied by the relative density of the dock water 39.4 giving us the cargo that can be loaded equal to 788 metric tons. Thank you very much everyone for your kind attention. If you like this presentation give me a like, give me a, a thumbs up. You can share this video as well as subscribe to my channel. Thank you 